Insert Edges and Subdivisions. In this video, we'll use Insert Edge, Insert Point, and use Subdivide. In Fusion 360, we want to carry on with our car hood and make sure that we are still in the Forms tools. Now we're going to talk about ways in which we can insert edges to the design. When we take a look at this design, this front corner has a small crease in it. As we rotate the design around, we can see that and it becomes apparent in certain areas. If we go to inspect, we can take a look at curvature map analysis of the body, and we can follow along and see areas where we potentially have problems with the curvature. You can see sometimes this will appear at points where we have multiple intersections of faces. In other cases, this might happen where we have edges terminate in the middle of another edge. With T-splines, you have the ability to create these types of intersections, but we need to be careful and we always want to try to maintain a four-sided patch or face whenever possible. So in some areas, you'll note this edge, for example, ends in the middle of this face and there isn't really any problem there. However, this one here has one, two, three, four, five, and six separate faces. So the way that we're going to approach this is by using some of the modify tools. First, we want to note that we have insert edge, subdivide, and insert point. All three of these can be extremely helpful, but this first case, we're going to take a look at insert point. This will allow us to select two vertices. In this case, I'll go from here to here and we'll say, okay. This will allow us to add an edge that connects those. And you'll notice that a lot of the other geometry changed along with it. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo and note that the fender itself was affected by simply adding that point. Let's go back to insert point. Let's make the same selection, but this time instead of simple, let's use the exact method. The exact method could potentially be problematic for this selection. You'll note that exact is not allowing us to select those same vertices, and we'll have to go through the process of selecting points on the edge or potentially going to the midpoint. Now you see when I try to add a point there, it's creating all of these divisions that go along the body. I'm gonna say okay to see what happens, but note that it created that intersection, it automatically went to this edge, and it automatically connected this point. Now we have that nice smooth transition that rolls into this opening, carries on into the fender without us having to make those selections. You'll note also that it didn't carry this edge all the way to the middle. So it's not universally true. It doesn't necessarily carry all the way through the geometry. But let's take a look at some of the other options. If we use insert edge, we can select an edge and we can determine which side it's going to be on. In this case, we also have simple or exact, and those will have differing effects depending on your geometry. I'm gonna set the insert location to minus one, and then I'm gonna say, okay. Notice when I do that, it inserts it, but it makes some changes to the geometry, and these two points don't line up. There are different ways that we can work with this, but if we use Control Z and undo, you can see that it's really not giving us the result that we expect. Insert Edge works really well when you don't intend to connect it with an open vertex. So Insert Edge would be great if we wanted to divide up a certain area to add more geometry. But in this case, using Insert Point is going to be a much better option, but we will need to use Simple in order to go between these two points and say OK. So that allowed us to clean up that area, get that extra division in there to make sure that we don't have any of these edges ending in the middle of another edge. But what about some of the other options like subdivide? If we go to modify and we select subdivide, this allows us to select a face or set of faces. For example, if I hold down control or command, I can select a lot of faces and then you can see the divisions that are being made. This insertion mode is simple, which means it's able to affect change on the rest of the geometry. If I view this from the right hand side, and change this to exact, it's gonna keep the original geometry. But one thing you'll note is it makes a lot more surface divisions. Simple will add as few as possible, but it will change the surrounding geometry. Exact will add as many as it needs to in order to preserve the shape of your model. So once again, depending on the intent, 
Exact or simple might be a good option, but you really have to be careful, but you don't want to add too many divisions to a model. Let's finish this off by using insert point one more time and noting how it pulled that geometry in. From this point, we've added a lot of edges, but we've cleaned up any potential problems we may have had by having five or six sided patches. So let's navigate back to a home view and let's save the design before we move on.